So you're thinking about relocating and living in South Jersey. You've come to the right place. In fact, today we're going to talk about 15 things that you need to know when moving to South Jersey. Let's do it. Hi, I'm Kat Quarterman, broker, sales associate, and team leader of the Quarterman Group, powered by Compass. I'm so excited today to be talking to you about the 15 things that you need to know when moving to South Jersey. If you are looking to relocate here to South Jersey, you've come to the right channel. So make sure that you click the subscribe button and the little bell so you're notified each and every time a new video is uploaded. This is the channel where you're going to learn what it's all about to eat, live, sleep, play in South Jersey and all the things, the 15 things that you need to know before moving here. We honestly get so many people reaching out to us who are looking to relocate to South Jersey. We absolutely love it. All you need to do is reach out by phone, text, or email, and we'll be sure to make your move to South Jersey as simple as it could be. So number one, that you need to know when moving to South Jersey is the beach culture. New Jersey is known for its beautiful beaches and shore towns. You can enjoy swimming, walking on the boardwalk, definitely during the summer months. Some people even go out during the spring and maybe even just a little bit in the fall. It's always a great thing and a great place to be. So the second thing that you need to know when moving to South Jersey is that we have seasonal tourism. So during the summer months when everybody's commuting down to the Jersey Shore, whether they have a second home there or they rented a home for the week or maybe they're just staying at a bed and breakfast, you will find that traffic on the Garden State Parkway and the New Jersey Turnpike to get down to South Jersey. It's going to be a little bit longer. So I would definitely say that the major road you know, from Thursday through Sunday will be a little bit more trafficy because of people going down to the shore. So the third thing that you need to know is that we have local cuisine from pork rolls to tomato pies. Those are regulars. And I could tell you coming from New York City or um, Brooklyn, New York, I should say, that was all new to me. Those were things, those were cuisines that I never even heard of. I never even heard of just like a cheese pie for just, you know, for people who are allergic to tomatoes or vice versa, the tomato pie for people who are allergic to dairy. So these are things that I found out and they are regular on the menu. Um, so not like in New York where it was just like, I just saw the choice of, of pizza. And then again, I don't know, maybe I am at that age where we didn't have all of these allergies, while today there are just so many more people with allergies to different foods and different things like that. And also it depends on like, you know, you have these allergies depending on where you live at too, right? The fourth thing is outdoor recreation. You can do so many different outdoor activities. So if you're an outdoor person, you'll love it. You have hiking, biking, kayaking. I know that I really didn't know anything about hiking until I was in a group and they said, you know, they did hiking and I said, oh, I'd like to go. And it turned out to be a really great workout. Of course, I wasn't prepared for ticks. You know, we do have a lot of ticks down this way. So just make sure that you do get the right bug spray. But it was a really great experience. As far as biking, you do see a lot of people bike in the morning. If you're an older person like me, biking is a great exercise activity. I know we have a new neighbor that moved into our neighborhood. And when we went to introduce ourselves to him, the first thing he asked is like, do you bike? Because I've been biking in the morning like five miles and, um, and I'd love to have you know, some company. So you do get to do a lot of those outdoor activities. Camping as well. Today, I'm actually vacationing. I'm vacationing down in Florida. So that's why you see the palm trees in the background. But we did our first adventure of getting an RV. So we are doing that whole outdoor life. Um, and you'll find a lot of that in South Jersey. I have a lot of friends that enjoy camping, like straight up tent camping. Then some of them who do the RV Camping, either way, it's a great experience. Um, definitely something that's great for families, for friends, and different scouting troops will do it as well. The fifth item is the proximity to the major cities. We are very close to all of the major cities that you would like to visit. 
So we are about an hour drive to New York City, depending where in Philadelphia, maybe the 30 to 45 minute drive into Philadelphia. You can get into Delaware as well. So depending on what part, maybe about an hour or two, you can drive down to Maryland as well. So we are very central when it comes to being able to get to the different cities that a lot of people like to visit either for work or for play. The sixth item is that we have a lot of quaint towns. So we have a lot of towns that have a lot of history to it, whether it has some unique shops or local festivals going on or just some history, some historical significance. So I didn't know, but um, many of the towns here are were first settled by Quakers. So you'll see a lot of Quaker meeting houses in the many different towns and just a lot of different uniqueness you know, to it. I love it during Christmas, during the holidays. Some of the towns will have, you know, holiday tours, you know, where people will decorate their homes and you get to walk through and just kind of, you know, see these nice, these nicely built homes as well as see how nicely decorated they are. The seventh thing that you would want to know is the whole sports culture. In South Jersey, it's all about the Eagles, right? E-A-G-L-E-S, go Eagles. It's all about the Flyers and it's all about the Phillies. So you just want to make sure that you know when you get here, you will see a lot of green and a lot of red during the different sports months. Not saying that if you wore your own, if you're a fan of another team and you wore that jersey, that, you know, people will be upset with you. But just know that they are going to want to know and they will ask, why aren't you an Eagles fan, a Flyers fan, or a Phillies fan. The eighth item that you would want to know is about the New Jersey Turnpike and the Garden State Parkway. So to get into South Jersey for the most part, unless you're going further down into like Atlantic County or even Ocean County, for the most part, it will be along the New Jersey Turnpike. If you're taking the Garden State Parkway, you would take it into the New Jersey Turnpike or you'll take it straight down into Atlantic County or Ocean County. But those are the two major like highways and roads. Of course, 295 runs parallel to the New Jersey Turnpike. So you can always catch that if you want to do like a more local route or save on toll. The ninth thing that you must know when living in South Jersey is the weather variations. We do get all four seasons. So we do get the very hot summers where it's 80 degrees, 90 degrees. You do get the falls where it's a little chilly out. I want to say for Halloween, you do need to have your kids carry like a sweater with them for most Halloweens. We've had to carry a sweater because it does get very chilly at night and we do get snow. So I'm not going to say lately in the recent years, we've had as much snow as we normally do, but we do get snow where you do need some snow boots. And then in spring, sometimes spring passes us by, I want to say over the last few years, but you will have a spring as well. So we do get all four seasons. The 10th thing that you would want to know when living in South Jersey are the traffic patterns. Definitely during rush hours when people are commuting to go to work and commuting home from work, you will see a little bit more congestion. And then sometimes depending on where you live in South Jersey, like down there um, in Cherry Hill, like off of 73, there are some parts of the day, you know, outside of the rush hour times where it might be a little bit congested. You might need a little bit more time to commute in Mount Laurel as well, coming out of the Bishop's Gate complex where all of the businesses are, um, the, the work offices. You will find that you will need a few extra minutes just to get in and out of the complex. The 11th thing that you would want to know when living in South Jersey is all about the agriculture and the farming. So we do have a lot of farm land and we do have a lot of individuals who may farm. They may farm and sell it or they may just be farming for their own. We have a lot of produce co-ops as well with the different farmers, local farmers that you could participate in. Instead of you um, participating in something that's being shipped to you, you could participate in something that's more local. The 12th thing that you would want to know is the historical landmarks. I have mentioned that South Jersey has a lot of history. So here you'll get to be able to go to the different landmarks, take a tour, learn about them, and you have the different historic houses as well that you could visit. The 13th thing that you want to know when moving in South Jersey is that we have mosquitoes and ticks. We have 
enough of it to the point where you have companies that will, you know, come and, and spray your yard or take care of your yard for mosquitoes and ticks. This year was the first year that I've decided to invest in it because I was kind of tired of going into my backyard and not being able to um, enjoy it because of the mosquitoes. Um, I do have friends that kind of treat their own yard so you can do that as well. I just felt like there's so many things my husband and I do ourselves that that was the one thing that I can hire a company to do for us. So remember, because we have a lot of wooded areas is the reason why you have a lot of, you know, standing water where you get the mosquitoes and you have the ticks. So you want to just make sure that you stock up on your bug repellents, your tick repellents as well and be prepared. The 14th thing that you would want to know when living in South Jersey is that we kind of have like our own our own like dialect down here. And every once in a while, um, I'm not gonna say every once in a while because I have gotten it a lot lately where people would recognize that I have a, a more of a New York accent. But you'll see that when you're down here in South Jersey and you're talking to a lot of South Jerseyans, they have their own accent. They definitely have their own slang as well. So you wanna be prepared for that. The 15th item and last item that you would want to know when living in South Jersey is the community spirit. In South Jersey, you'll find that there are a lot of community events from festivals, from um, community days that people have spirit. They're always looking to volunteer, always looking to help. Even when you look at the neighborhood app, if you have like a ring and you'll see that people are like, oh, someone um, took my package, someone took uh, my kid's bike how the community rallies around that just to help you locate it, especially with like lost animals in the community groups. People do go out of their way um, to, to help here in South Jersey. So I'm telling you, it can be a challenge to navigate this whole world of South Jersey, relocating, trying to figure out where's the best place to live, what will be a good fit for you, right? Because when buying a home, it's an investment. You can't just pick up and leave if you don't like it. So you wanna make sure you do some research, so that way you're choosing the right place. And my team and I can help you out with that. All we need to know is a little bit of particulars of what you're looking for, um, the kind of vibe, you know, the particulars you want, bedrooms, baths. Um, do you wanna be close to uh, transportation, close to work, close to friends? And we can help you choose the best areas to look into. But the only way that we can help is if you reach out. So whether you do it by phone, text, or email, days, weekends, nights, reach out to us and we will be sure to help you make your move to South Jersey.